do I get to know how the person dies when I clean up their remains? So that's an interesting question. The answer to that is only if I need to. Sometimes it's incredibly helpful to know how the person died because it gives crucial information for crime scene cleaners like me on what I need to bring to the death scene. If guns were involved, for instance, there's probably a bullet hole in the wall and that bullet is gonna have blood on it. So that's something that I would need to know. In other instances, it's not as important for me to know and I deal with enough trauma as it is already. So if I don't have to know the details, then I'd rather just not know, right?